Alrighty, so last lesson we were looking at reading line graphs. This lesson we're going to be plotting line graphs, making them for ourselves. So first thing you're going to need is a set of axes. And we've always got to ask the question, how am I going to be plotting these points on here? Because I could either put time down here, or I could put time up here. But I don't want to put time on both because I've got time and temperature. So I want to make sure I split them up. Now, my rule of thumb is that for line graphs, 90% of the time, time goes down the bottom. Just be prepared for that. If there's time as an option, it's almost always going to be there. And I'm going to pop temperature up on the side then. Alrighty, so for the time, it goes up and starts at zero, and it goes up in five increments. So let's do that. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. Always plan this out first. If you just go straight in and hope that it's going to fit, well, you will end up crossing out many a graph. Plan it out, zero to 60. Make sure it all fits. Now going up on my vertical axes, I'm going to start at my smallest number. Now you notice I put that little funny little like, zigzag there. That just means that I'm not starting at zero. So, because if I started at zero, I'd have to count all the way, zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 18 before I get to 19, which is my first number I actually care about. So there's no reason to put all of those numbers in. So I'm just going to start at 19. And my largest number is 25, but I'm putting one extra on the top anyway. So now to actually plot the points. Now the first point here, 0, 19. How do I do? Well, I start at 0 on the time, and I go up to 19, draw a point. Next one, 5, up to 25, and finish. The next one, 10, 20, 10 on the across, 20 up. 15, 19, 15 across, 19 up. 20 across, 21 up. 25 across. 25 up, 30 across, 23 up, 35 across, 20 up. You can see over time you kind of get into a rhythm of doing it, 40 across, 20 up. But that only works if you set it out correctly. If you don't set it out correctly, you'll find that it will take you a lot longer because you won't be able to find the numbers that you're looking for. And there's the final point. But I'm not finished, because a line graph isn't a line graph unless there's a line. So it becomes a big dot to dot. Just make sure you always go from one point to the very next point. So although the 19 is closer to this, this one here, I've got to first go upwards to get this one in. We don't ever want to double back or anything. If you've got a ruler, it will make it for a much neater experience. But otherwise, try to make sure that you are just making sure they're as straight as possible. This one is probably the worst offender of my lot, so I'm going to draw it out. Using a pencil is always a great way to do that. Alrighty, there's my graph. Here's yours. So there's your data. Make sure you go through and have a go. Plot it all out. Alrighty, so let's have a go through. So once again, time down the bottom, temperature up the side. Time goes up in ones, so zero, one, two, three, four. All the way up. To ten. And my temperature, once again, I'm going to use that funny little Z thing, which means I don't have to start at zero. And I'm going to start at, well, 18. And 
and 26 is my largest number, so I don't want to go any past 26. Now it's time for the plotting. 0, 20, 118, 2, 22, 3, 20, 4, 22, 5, 21, 6, 23, 7, 26, 8, 26, 9, 24, 10, 26. Alrighty, and now the dot to dot. The, 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 and the, and back up there. And that's my completed line graph. Alrighty, so hopefully you should be able to plot line graphs. Hope you have a lovely time. See you next time.